Hello guys, welcome to Vince Black. And uh, you know, our topic for today is if you tried already to do the configurations with the L series and how we're going to config the 50 and 60 hertz for that but we need our uh, things to be preferred and i will show you how to do with that one so uh, it's not much difficult it's very simple but for the guys who are not tried yet so it's a little bit uh, maybe complicated for them but for those people who are already knows about it so it's very uh, easy to do that but this time we're going to do it so i will show you and i will explain to you uh what is the things we're going to adjust we're going to calibrate if there is some uh, for example uh, for uh, hard starting what you're going to adjust for your uh, settings but for now we're just prepared for our uh, things so we can start doing that so okay hello guys uh, by the way this this is the one we're going to do uh, the configurations and this is what we call the linear actuator or the other term of uh, L series so look what happened if I put some supply so <coughs> I have here yeah so this is the connector for uh, making uh, configurations uh, this is uh, having a supply and some a communication pin inside so this is already have supply so what happened to this uh, uh, motorized here and this is uh, the L uh, look likes so if I put some supply what will happen see I will give you some see as you can see sounds are there and it is moving try it again so if I put it like this so it should be like that so yeah so I will do focus yeah so this is uh, the ranges which you can uh, manage the fueling for your injection pump so he is the one who controlling there is some pin there that it will attach to this point so he will adjust uh, the mechanical inside and uh, how many percent of a uh, fuel it will give to your uh, injections okay because this is the one uh, will command for your speed for example 50 hertz 60 hertz so this is the one it will give the functionality for that okay so <coughs> now i will connect for this one and uh, you should have this kind of applications to do the configurations okay so so in here So guys, um, during the configurations, you should have uh, the applications like this. This is what we call the L-Series service tools. So before you're going to start your configurations or for modifying the, the settings for your uh, uh, L-Series, you should have this. So now we're going to open it so you can see what is inside. <coughs> so it should be um, look like this okay so when you open it will goes like this format and now 
it will shows communication or one two three four five six it depends on your uh, uh, L series where or the 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 compatible is so here it is com com3 serial port so just okay <coughs> excuse me so now uh, this is the format okay so I will uh, make it a uh, bigger for you so here so you can see the speed set point so uh, zero rpm position set point you have zero you can see this is uh, like SCADA you can see here even if it is the engine is running it, you can see it also here how many uh, what is the percentage for the fueling and everything you can see here the speed and everything so you can monitor from here if your uh, uh, what you call the L series is working or not working properly okay so <coughs> next is click this one if you if you have the file for uh, doing the configurations you can take from your configuration file but if you don't have you can do it uh, through uh, the settings so make sure that uh, you know how to do it because maybe it will make you your things worsen it will make some problems but here I will show you how to do it so for example I will open the control configurations <coughs> so it will ask you the password that is big L and series and zero one <coughs> So as you can see here, you have the MPU because this one you need the MPU installations for that in order to work your uh, L series. Okay. So uh, it depends on your how many strokes you have been in your uh, engine. Just repair the manual for that, and you have the number of cylinders. So for example, this is uh, four. In the nameplate, you can see it there. What is uh, the cylinder number for that? Uh, what kind of engine? So you can refer for that. So it will not uh, become uh, difficult to you. Do not try to uh, just guess, <laughs> because uh, these things here is should be accurate, should be correct. That the number of cylinder most common. This one is one and the number of engine revolutions or your your plywood tit so in here it is half uh, one to six already so you can change it that one it depends on what uh, you need to okay and here you have you can see the actuator maximum positions you have 10 proportional gain integral gain and derivative this is also uh, changeable it depends on so next to our set points so in here so this configuration here for now is this is 1500 so this is only for your uh, 50 Hertz so if you can see here this is the standard if if you open for your configurations it's already here 1 5 1000 for your acceleration ramp rate and your deceleration ramp rate is 900 rpm this is per second so we are put it rated you can also put it if you have an idle for your engine but in here in in the uh, engine we are using is we don't need for the idle rated but some of the engines they are needed for that so this is for one five applications but if you need to make it 60 hertz just simply change this one into 1800 okay so
so this is your 60 hertz that is uh, so simple and the rest of that you don't need to change it just as is okay then we go for the control so in here you have the start speed threshold but in case of uh, there is no problem during the starting point of your engine you don't need to change this one if there is some problem you can change this one you can also uh, tow ramp rate if you wanted but most common we're using for this one here so uh, this is the standard so we have the start fuel wheel one and the maximum time run speed speed threshold you can change this one accordingly if you wanted so we have here the over speed threshold this is 2000 rpm so this is what you call it is wild already your engine so let's go from the modifier so in here if you are using for this uh, linear actuator you can use this one as your speed control for your synchronizing also but we are not talking for now this uh, configurations we are going to talk about it is for the standard only so just make it off this one and then the biasing is none okay then from fuel limiting so if you want that 100% to run your generator you can put the rig 100% but you know some scene we have done too much that if during the start point of your engine it is uh, having a lot of black smoke you know but here that is but absolutely it will run your generator if there is no problem with your MPU so we put it directly 100 percent for your fuel limiting so just for sure runs but you can change this one to 95 it will uh, still run but you can also put it 100 percent for good <laughs> so dynamics here single uh, this is what we called here you can also adjust here for uh, cold start gain you can adjust this one you can play for this if uh, for example your generator is uh, having for the cold starts you can change this one from here you can add one by one and here the rated is uh, for your integral is seven seconds you can also adjust this one you can play for that if uh, for in case that uh, there is some problem you can change this one but uh, for me if the generator is uh, working fine and uh, during the configurations to be done is when you already ready and you are powered out and it is running so you don't need to change this one that is uh, uh, good because uh, sometimes if you change there is some problem happen so you need to uh, recalibrate it again so here is uh, your auxiliary if you are connected this one for your biasing so you need to activate this one here accordingly to your uh, configurations so here is your alarm but it's already configured from uh, this uh, l-series it's already have so no need to change this one okay so I'll stop it for now then I will go back again after my lunch <laughs> okay so okay guys let's go back to our topic now uh, if you are uh, already done to your configurations just uh, click this one or if you want also to save your file just click this one you can save it and if you want to direct file just click this one and they will ask again password for that same password as I say to you and then hit OK and you're done now for example also if for example you have uh, 
the file flash file already we just click it here and you can see this file now find your uh, the PC where it is your USB is if for example it's in the USB or in your file in the computer so <coughs> for example that that I have is I have here the USB so this is mine <coughs> so just click that one and find your flash file for example your L series so this is your flash file you can click this one and direct right to your uh, um, L series direct then they will ask again the password for example like that now for example I will give you a uh, uh, I will take this one for example this is 1106 program for 135 just click it open then the ask password same <coughs> then here it comes so all the configurations here is change <coughs> okay then you have to write like that so simple as like that so we just cancel that one because we are not going to write that one uh, now so that's so simple to do the configuration for their actuator for your uh, uh, linear actuator so <coughs> now if you want to close it just press this one and if you want to close the application just do like this and you don't want to save the file just say no and then that's it so i hope uh you you understand whatever that i do the the explanations uh whatever that i did there so just uh, follow that one if you want to change from 50 to 60 and if you have some questions just direct message me or just comment down in our comment sections to our yt okay so once again beans blog is here thank you for watching and see you again to my next blog bye bye